Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I was going to do a get ready with me and use all my piano style stuff, but when I got up here, I got kind of carried away. I have all these Clinique Beyond Perfection foundations. I have three of them and none of them are the right color. I don't know what it is with Clinique. They put too much pink in it, as you can see. I already put my foundation on and I did use this Clinique Beyond Foundation. I used the middle shade that I have, which is Cream Whip, number four, Cream Whip. It's way too pink. So, but I got those two mixers from NYX, the olive colored one. So I put some of that in there and then it was too dark. So then I put some of the white in there. And then I thought it was good because up here it looks it looks pretty good. It's like close. It's still kind of dark, but it looked like I got took care of the pink. But then I just had to go downstairs to get something, and I'd have to say no. <laughs> but I do like the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. It's got a lot of coverage, which I like. Um, but they didn't have my color and I've had this for a little while so they may have my color now but I'm not going to go buy another one. I've already got three bottles full. So anyways that's why I've already done my foundation and my contour. Um, for my foundation I used the Clinique Beyond Perfecting in the color Cream Whip with a little bit of the NYX Mixer in Olive and a little bit of the NYX Mixer in White. Then I used the Laura Mercier powder. I used Tarte Shape Tape for my concealer. Um, for my blush, I used this Wet n Wild uh, Pearlescent Pink. It looks orange to me, but that's what it, that's the color. Is my blush? I used my Shade and Light palette for my contour. And so now we're gonna do eyes, and I am gonna use my Fiona Styles. I'm gonna use. I got this, actually I got three of these, but we're gonna use just probably this one. And then I am going to use, oh, I swatched this on my arm. We don't need those. And they're gone, so I will swatch it again so you can see it. I am swatching this one right here. I'll just swatch them all. They're so soft and buttery, and Fiona Styles is on sale at Ulta. Can you see the colors? I can't really bend my arm the right way. They're so pretty, but as you can see, three out of the four are um, shiny. So I am going to go into my Tarte and Bloom palette just for a transition color, something that's a little less shiny and. Um, not as dark. So for a transition color, I am going to go into my Tarte palette and I am going to use Smarty Pants, which is that one right there. And this is going to be a just an eye get ready with me. And we're gonna try out the new Fiona Styles, my new Fiona Styles. This is the Canyon palette. I also got the Electra and the Mirror palette. And because I have hooded droopy eyes, even though somebody commented that I do not, I don't have severely hooded eyes, but I'm old, so they do come down. And I definitely have droopy eyes, because see these lines on the outside? See how they go? Right, that's droopy eyes, and they didn't do that when I was younger. So I don't care what these people say. I definitely have droopy eyes because they used to be up like this, not droopy. So I'm going to put that in the crease and then pull it up because I have a lot of space up here. And 
and I want to be able to see it when I'm looking straight ahead. I think we're going to go into this one. It's kind of a sparkly one. And start that with our, in our crease. And just see how that goes. Because I know when I swatched these, they were pretty dark. But a lot of times when you swatch them, they go on a lot darker than when you actually put them in there. I hate the wrinkly eye thing that happens. It's like, who needs that? I'm going to pull this down onto the outer corner of my eye too. I think I'm going to try and put a little bit of this darker shiny color, which is this brown one right there, just in the outer corner a little bit. And in the crease. Definitely not as dark on the lid as they are on the arm. And I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush. See if I can just merge those together a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit. And I'm going to use this color, even though it, it looks like a lighter one. It wasn't on my arm. This is a matte color. I'm just going to put it in this corner. Okay, now it doesn't look very dark. Now we're going to go in with this golden color right here, and I'm going to use my finger to put it in the inner part of the lid. I'm going to actually go back to the Tarte palette because I don't have a really light color in that. Um, Palette, and I'm going to take my pencil brush. I'm just going to put a little bit in the inner corner. Maybe we'll go with this color. Oh, yeah, that's a better sparkle. I'll show you the color in just a second. Okay, the color I switched to because I couldn't see that lightest one is this one here, and it is called Funny Girl. We are going to go in with our tight lining. And I'm going to use my L'Oreal um, Gel Lacquer, I think is what it's called. Gel Lacquer. And I'm going to go in to here. I, can you see? I look over here, can you see if I pull this in? I don't think it's going to be in. Okay. And I just push this into the lash line. Next step is to put some powder on that eyeliner I just put on. I'm going to use my MAC Black. But you can use any black eyeshadow to do this with. And I have a flat brush. Can you see it? It's, oh, I guess you couldn't. It's just, I got this one. It's a brow brush, usually. It, this came with my billion dollar brow kit that somebody gave me for Christmas. Um, but I have an elf one too. So they have them for elf too. And you just put black shadow on it. And then you go in. From the top, 
and you just push black shadow down into that lash line that you just put that lacquer liner on. It just sets it in place and it gives you a little bit of a line. If you don't want to go ahead and put liner on, then you can just stop with that. Now I'm going to go back in with this awesome brush that I will tell you about again. It is a Hobby Lobby paintbrush. It came flat and I cut it. And now it's the perfect eyeliner brush. And I'm not making a huge wing today because I'm a chicken. Now, if you really want it to look like a line, you can go over it with a wet, with it wet once you get a nice outline and it's, it looks great. Okay, so now we're going to go in and do my brows, which I normally do off camera, but you guys have said you wanted to see me do my brows. So today we're going to do my brows. I know I've done them on camera before, but we're going to do them again. Hopefully I can stay in frame. To do them. Anyways, I am using my Koki uh, brow pomade from Walmart in blonde. This was a lot creamier when I got it, but it still works. Actually, I just saw Tati rave about one, but it's at Sephora and it's not as cheap as this, so I haven't. Felt the urge to blow money on one that was, she said it was super creamy and she really liked it. But this was super creamy when I got it. It just isn't anymore. And my thing is, Get a nice line across the bottom to set your shape. And always use the not magnified side of your mirror to do your brows. That's what took me forever to get through my head. Because I thought I needed to see up close and Therefore, I would always not be as happy with my brows because once I got close, I couldn't see both of them or I couldn't, I couldn't do it. 
So I do go closer, but I first set it how I want it, how I think it looks good from far away. Then I go back in and look at it close up just to make sure there's no clumping or flaking, which there always is, but it's okay. I've got the shape set by then. So then I just go in and I brush them out with the little spoolie. And then I take this to brush off any flakes because every one I've used always gives flakes. Even the Anastasia. And I used to use the Anastasia, but it dried up too. I still have it, but it dried up. And then I tried microwaving it. And it worked. It was beautiful. It looked like brand new. But it was still hard when I went to try and use it. So there were other things on YouTube that said to add coconut oil. I haven't done that yet. But it looks like I need to because now this one's getting a little dry too. And I would really love for my eyebrows to have like a super arch to them, but they don't. And to try and put something there that's not there, which I have definitely tried, um, it just doesn't follow your bone. So it doesn't work as, it doesn't look right when you're done to me. Mine didn't. Yours might. Anyways, that's how I do my brows. All I have left to do is my lashes and my lipstick. So I'm going to go off camera to do my lashes because they take too long. And then I will come back and we will chat. Okay, everyone, I am back. And this is the final look. All I've added was my eyelashes. I added eyelashes and lipstick. The eyelashes I'm using are those Ardell ones that I got for free in my last um, makeup haul, the CVS ones where you just buy one, get one free. I got the mink ones that were Ardell and then I got the glamour ones. These are the glamour ones. I really like them. They went on really well underneath. I think the mink ones, I will show you. The mink ones, I think I'm gonna have to put them on top because they are not long enough because you do you lose some length when you put them on the bottom. But these ones, these ones are great, see? I may have lost some length, but they're still plenty long enough. And I love putting them on the bottom. They're so much more comfortable. Even though I just saw um, Zabrina, I think her name is. She's got red hair. She did a video on it, and it was like she tried it for the first time, and she hated it, and she said she would never do it again. I don't think she did it right. She said she could feel them on her eyeballs, so obviously she got them way too far back. But anyways, she didn't like them, but... You should watch my video because I put them on. They are way more comfortable. I mean, they're still false lashes. They're still not as good as not having lashes. And actually, um, I just watched also, um, I think it's the Taylor. She got um, extensions. And I've had extensions before, but I cannot handle not being able to wash off my makeup and all that stuff. So mine fell out really fast because I was <laughs> trying to get my makeup off because I just can't handle not washing my face. And so, but she did it when she went to, on um, a trip to China, I think. So she was doing it because she wasn't going to be wearing as much makeup. And hers stayed on awesomely. And that's a good thing. If you're going on vacation like somewhere to where you're going to be on a beach all the time. Boy, my hands look orange in the thing. You don't look orange to me. Anyways, if you're going on vacation, extensions are the bomb because then you always have, you don't even need makeup really. I mean, lashes, it makes you look awesome with just the lashes on without putting any kind of makeup on. But I never don't put any kind of makeup on because you're going to go out at night. So 
but they're still great because then you can wear them during the day. But I always end up going back to strip lashes because I like to be able to take them off and put them on, take them off. Put, I mean, I don't like doing that, but I can wash my face then. So anyways, that's it for today's video. I will link everything that I used. Well, I don't know. Do you guys want me to link the stuff that I already had on? Probably not. I'll just link the, the Fiona palette and the Tarte palette and my, I can't link the Mac because I can't find it, but any black shadow works. Um, the L'Oreal, the eyebrow pomade, anything that I did on camera for you guys to see, I will link below. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.